Old Navy, which is at the bottom of an old um, Art Institute of Philadelphia. They had two art schools here, University of the Arts, which just closed down its doors. Um, it lost its accreditation. The, the pandemic seemed to be a pivotal factor in that determination, if you will. Um, but many, many years ago, there was an Art Institute, AI, of Philadelphia. They had art institutes all around, probably in a lot of cities. Um, I actually visited there when I was interested in moving to Philadelphia. I was trying to find sort of a pathway to Philadelphia. And I met with someone. Uh, my first visit sort of by myself to Philadelphia coming into the train station from Love Park and the visitor center up here. It looks so different now. I've lived here so many years that it just seems like a normal part of the neighborhood, if you will. But back then it seemed a lot bigger. I was, I didn't know which way to go. I had no idea which way was east, west, north or south. Um, this is like, you know, we're talking the mid nineties or so. Um, I didn't get up here until 2000, but uh, anyway, might've been later, like 98, or, anyway. Um, so. so, JD, Juris Doctor, that's what I think of. Or I knew someone named JD, uh, or she went by the initial JD Ackerman or what have you. But uh, anyway, I uh, would visit the AI Institute, talk to a guy, and he would sort of, they had advertisements on TV. He would talk about, like, say, students who were accepted there, you know, often have a very high level skill for drawing, uh, animation, all kinds of stuff. And I kind of wondered where those skills came from other than being developed over time. Um, so, anyway, pigeon here, foot locker. I think whenever there's been like crazy riots or whatever, foot locker usually gets hit and people go in and steal. I forget why the, I was doing it overnight a couple years ago and for some reason, people broke into foot locker. I wasn't in my usual spot, which would have been a block away. Um, so in a weird way, God intervened to make sure I wasn't around <laughs> for the craziness. So it didn't get too out of hand. It's just a lot of people decided, I forget what contributed to that. I don't know if it was sports and people got all riled up or, or a court case or what. Uh, so anyway. All right, we're gonna turn here and you guessed it, I'm coming down to the site of where all the wheelies were popped in front of City Hall um, and whatever you do, like circles and all that stuff. Apparently Saturday night and, and into Sunday morning was quite a fiasco. Um, so I don't know how people get the call. They have meetup groups and everything, car meetups. Um, and this has happened before, but I guess it got like crazy. So um, I don't know if it's cleaned up. Oh no, you can still see the markings. We'll come up here because. A couple news stations, like ABC showed the wheelies and the tire marks. Um, a couple other stations, it was like you really couldn't see it that well, and I'm wondering why they, uh, unless they stay at a distance because in order to be a good news reporter, sometimes you have to be able to speak fluently and well and articulate well. Um, if you're in the wrong zone, your brain could be fried and you won't be able to talk like you would normally talk. There's a lot more pressure when you're on TV, you know, you're worried about your job, you're worried about sounding good, 50 million people are watching uh, and stuff like that. So, um, I guess here's the big old wheelies that were popped. Should we sort of do the best we can here? How many people are coming in? I don't know how. So you can kind of see the whole, um, they squealed around here uh, and so forth and so on. Go this way. We'll go across the city hall. So I'm here as Law Columbus here. These are the residences at the Ritz Carlton. These folks here, now, you know, one thing to remember is these folks are kind of on watch always, but also it's a soundproof building. I swear to God. I. Um, took care of dogs in that building and my ears popped from the level of soundproofness in that building. I call it the stealth building. Um, 
Um, so once you get on the elevator, it's like you're in a studio for creating music or whatever. So that's probably what they're doing uh, here. Playing people like a guitar. That would be someone's uh, idea of people being manipulated. Now, I have no idea what inspires people to come out to these car meetups. Um, you know, everyone goes through stages of like being against the man and this, that, and the other. You have protests, all that. Uh, especially in a city where they kind of encourage it. The problem is, I guess it got too much. Uh, over 200 cars or something like that they reported. So, um, it got a little scary. They did a ring of fire. I don't know if that's symbolism for people to set like a ring of fire in the middle. What does it mean, you know? Are people getting pumped up for the election year? Or was it just a social event? Is there, you know, what is it? Uh, so we'll go over here. So. Uh, and this would be more of the center of the controversy here at the clothespin. So a clothespin, are people being hung out to dry? What does a clothespin mean to you? Like laundry or hanging people out to dry? So, Philly loves to build people up to set them down. Why do you build me a buttercup just to let me down? So anyway, that's sort of a theme that's come up a lot. Um, but there's always police over here. There's never an absence of police over by the clothespin. So they have like this big mobile RV-ish type, you know, sturdy vehicle that sits there and it might sit there unmanned at times, but it would still collect information, if you will. That's what I think. So even decoy cars. Air City Hall. <laughs> so anyway, we'll come on over here. Some of the tire marks have sort of worn off over the period, but I want to know what they were trying to say because ring of fire means something. So, um, there you go. Either partiers and or revelers for, you know, the coming days, what's going on in politics and stuff like that. So we'll have to get. the clothespin meaning that's what some people think so anyway I'll let people know in case they're listening that people can probably barely hear me anyway but uh, go this way so that's the scene of a Saturday night live debacle <laughs> of revelry or you know I am not connected at all say to like police or groups who wouldn't be in the know about what drives people to come out and do this but I do know, you know, I've protested